What's going on everyone? It's Snakebite here and today we're going to be talking about Halo Infinite. I actually realized, well I've been, you know, I've been brainstorming video ideas. I actually realized that I never covered the Halo Infinite gameplay trailer and um, never went over everything in detail. Now I'm not going to focus so much on graphics. Um, obviously Infinite has been delayed. Uh, we don't know necessarily what's going to change, what isn't. So I don't want to focus solely on things that are likely to change but the actual gameplay mechanics I imagine probably won't change an insane amount obviously things might be modified like they were back in the day but overall they shouldn't change drastically now for the first thing that has actually made a return from Halo 5 is hit markers um, specifically weapon hit markers I don't know if nade hit markers are going to be a thing. We're going to go ahead and talk about that later on once I can actually show a specific clip. But overall, I like hit markers for weapons. I don't hate them. I have always hated grenade hit markers because grenades have shifted to a completely different purpose than what they used to be. Uh, but for weapon hit markers, I personally don't have a problem. So real quick, playing this clip through, I mean, you know, not, not much to it, right? pretty pretty obvious uh, I like the shield regen seems like it happened pretty quick um, hold on let me back this up here not too quick probably about the same uh, probably about the same as I'd say a halo 5 maybe a little bit quicker now the next thing to cover uh, on halo infinite is the sprint the sprint in my opinion does not seem as fast as halo 5 I'm gonna go ahead and show you now what it looks like Overall, this seemed like a very, very slow sprint. Obviously, we have been accustomed to the sprint through a slide. Um, it definitely looked a lot slower. I mean, we could just back it up one more time and watch it. I feel I, I can't wait to get my hands on the game to actually test things. But overall, it definitely just looks like a slower sprint, which I haven't talked about an insane amount. I actually think that Halo Infinite is going to be an in-between of Halo 5 between Halo 5 being the new modern Halo and a little bit more of a classic-ish style, I could be wrong on that, but I think one of the biggest disappointments of Halo 5, I guess, is it losing its classic feel completely. Um, you know, the sprint, no sprint debate. I think that then, by them slowing down the sprint, it's actually going to make the game feel a lot more classic style without necessarily going back to strictly classic Halo. Grenade hit markers have, has always been one of my least favorite things added into Halo specifically. Now, the one thing to note, I'm actually going to play this through. The one thing to note about the nade hit marker, you will see a hit marker on the stick itself. But notice you don't see a stick on the explosion. Now, we're not 100% sure what that's going to lead to. I'm going to keep going through this gameplay and see if there has a frag grenade that we can reference. But for the stick, I don't mind it being a hit marker on actual the stick. But the explosion and the damage it does is what's important. Now, whether or not that actually will have anything to do with splash damage for frag grenades, we're going to have to wait to find out. Now, coming up into the clip, we have the slide. Uh, I don't mind the slide. I don't mind any of the mechanics in Halo Infinite. It's just all about what we're going to see for the gameplay and how it turns out for the multiplayer. Uh, like I said, I do find what they're trying to do for Infinite to be a very good mix of modern Halo with these, I don't even want to call them classic, or sorry, I don't want to call them advanced movement because a sprint and a slide doesn't really seem that advanced compared to like let's say a thrust but overall obviously it is different compared to the og halos halo one two three um yeah so let's go ahead and look at the slide notice how much slower it is i might even jump into a halo 5 game real quick and show you guys the difference but this is the slide w with the sprint Okay, the grappling hook is its own separate topic. I'll talk about that in one second. 
Yeah, so I mean, you kind of you kind of saw the uh, the sprint and the slide there. Nothing too fancy. Look, doesn't get too much movement. Doesn't go too far. I think without the thrust, you just don't see an insane like push into a certain direction like you saw in Halo Five. Um, the grappling hook. Don't have any feelings towards it. Okay, everyone freaked out about it. I. It, it was put in a blog post that the grappling hook is used as an equipment, an equipment item rather, uh, similar to like a bubble shield in Halo 3. So I'm not stressing about it because for competitive specifically, we hopefully will have the option to remove it. I also don't imagine if there's just like one on a map, I don't imagine it's going to be anything absolutely crazy. Now coming up, we have the clamber. The clamber, I have mixed feelings about. I think that the sprint, and the slide overall actually can feel i don't hate them right the sprint and the slide i do not hate uh for halo 5 i feel like the clamber became a little bit more iffy um, i'm gonna go ahead and play this clip through and talk about it real quick but i don't know the overall i feel like that the clamber became a little bit iffier to me the longer that the game played out mainly because people started to figure out how to abuse the mechanic now this is going to happen no matter what when you have a mechanic in the game eventually over time you're going to figure out how to abuse what's in the game but um you know there's a thing called cali clambering i'm sure a lot of you have seen it it's essentially where you clamber up to something and then you just keep kind of keep, kind of keep falling off and back on off and back on Overall, I feel like it just made the game a little bit less uh, visual friendly, if that makes sense. Like when you're watching it, it's kind of just like, what the hell is happening? Now, on the flip side of that, I feel like people could definitely argue that it's a good mechanic. It takes a lot of skill. It takes mechanics in its own right. So um, definitely mixed feelings on it. Uh, I don't hate the sprint and the slide, though. I think that the sprint is slower. The slide looks smooth. Um, I don't hate the clamber until I see how the clamber plays out into game one more time. We're going to go ahead and look at it again. There's not really much to it, you know, right? Kind of clambered from like a side angle, but not really much to it. Obviously, this is just going over the mechanics of Halo Infinite. I could be wrong on this again, but referencing back the grenade hit markers, this is kind of what I was talking about. I don't remember through this. Look, I'm really late to breaking this down. Uh, I don't remember uh, whether or not, I think this was L-Town playing. Um, I don't remember if a frag grenade was thrown to the where we could see it. But real quick, just playing this clip through, when he shoots the barrels and he'll get hit markers on the barrels, but when the explosion actually happens and I believe it does damage, you're not gonna see, I don't believe we see a hit marker in that. Real quick, let's back it up. We're gonna drop the speed down a little bit. I actually don't know because it actually from slowing it down i actually think it kind of looked like there was a hit marker there i don't know like i mentioned i'm super super late into going on about all this stuff uh, i actually made a video talking about what you should be practicing um ao will link it somewhere description i don't know um about what you should be practicing for halo infinite I just wanted to kind of go over this again. I'm hoping we're going to have some kind of info soon, you know, end of 2020 update. If you remember that video a couple days ago, um, I'm hoping we're going to be getting some kind of beta announcement and maybe more trailers. Who knows? Not necessarily 2020, but leading on early 2021. Um, so I just wanted to go over all this stuff again, because hopefully it's going to be useful information soon soon into the new year uh you know make sure you're playing halo 5 if you're trying to get your mechanics down halo 5 is going to be really useful for you you got a sprint you have hit markers um clamber slide uh call of duty is going to be a really good game to play too just it's what it is right like 100 percent a sprint and a slide uh no thrust it looks like we'll wait and see if that gets added into the game but overall you know pretty pretty standard stuff i know this is public knowledge but as we're jumping on into the new year hopefully this video is a good reference point to what to practice for the beta if we get a beta that's gonna be the end of the video didn't want to dive too much into it just want to showcase a couple of the mechanics a couple of the features of halo infinite 
like I keep saying, you know, with the delay, we don't know what's going to change. We don't know what's going to be different. We don't know what's going to be the same. But um, hopefully we're going to have some kind of announcement this month. And then, you know, when they announce hopefully a beta or something, it's this is a good reminder to people on what we should be practicing heading into the beta and eventually the launch of the game. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.